Thank you and Senator Grassley for holding this hearing and thank you, Mr. Zatko, for your being here. Your extraordinarily insightful and significant testimony here today at substantial professional and personal risk, which is the tradition of whistleblowers and your cooperation with me and my staff off the record in providing details that are important to our understanding and the more the, of it that's made public, I think, the better. Uh, would you agree with me that Twitter has put its users' health and safety severely at risk? Yes, sir. And it's put the national security severely at risk? Yes, sir. That was and part its of my management disclosure. has misled its own board of directors? Yes, sir. And in that event, the management ought to be certainly restructured, shifted, changed, correct? Yes, sir. That kind of structural reform is necessary to achieve changes within the company. That is my belief. You've also said that uh, this company has misrepresented facts to government agencies, most especially the FTC. That's correct, isn't it? Yes, that is correct, sir. And uh, I think you shared in your complaint that Twitter management was intending to mislead as well French and Irish regulators about compliance with the consent decree, correct? Yes, sir, that's correct. Uh, how high in the Twitter management would you say that intent to mislead and in effect deceive government agencies went? Uh, to the CEO, I do not know to what level inside the board. Uh, they uh, did not know because of misrepresentation or uh, chose not to push. The misleading of government agencies is one of the reasons why stronger action hasn't been taken. That could very well be, sir. But it also, in effect, is the result of a lack of vigor in law enforcement, whether because of inadequate resources or a failure of will. That could be as well, sir. In fact, uh, the most recent settlement with Twitter, which was a payment of $150 million earlier this year, the FTC and Department of Justice stated that Twitter violated the 2011 consent decree. That's no surprise. But the size of the penalty, a mere $150 million, amounts to the kind of burden on us average drivers when we pay the toll to go into Manhattan, given that its profit in the second quarter of this year was about $1.18 billion, correct? That is correct. While I was there, um, the concern only really was about a significantly higher uh, amount uh, significantly higher, or if it would have been a more institutional uh, restructuring uh, risk. But that amount was would, would have been of very little concern while I was there. To effectively address this problem, we need not only to insist on restructuring the company, but also likely restructuring, reforming, and energizing our regulatory apparatus, not only as to Twitter, but also as to other internet companies and platforms. Would you agree? Yes, I would. Um, the intent of the regulators, um, I think, is the right intent, but it is not uh, being followed or uh, correctly uh, adhered to. All of what you're saying, everything in your complaint, and a lot of what we've heard in this committee and in other committees, leads me to think we need a new agency. As reluctant as I am to suggest a new government bureaucracy, I don't think it needs to be a government bureaucracy with a lot of uh, new people, but it needs to be a new means of enforcement here to bring cases to the Department of Justice focusing on privacy, security, and protecting users as well as our national security. Would you agree? Uh, I had not considered that. Uh, I, I, I will have to think about that. It is a very interesting approach. I'm not reaching any conclusions, but clearly what we're do doing right now is not working. You would agree with that? 
Yes, what, what I have seen, uh, the tools that are used out of the tool belt are not working. I do believe other tools in the tool belt do work, but the regulators aren't able to uh, quantify and get measurements that would show them to switch to the other tools they have. What are the remedies that, for example, other countries have that enable them to better protect privacy? Um, some are simply much more aggressive and do not accept answers uh, at face value, uh, put very strict time constraints on requiring answers, require data to back up the answers, and threaten to preclude monetizing entire markets, such as maybe you won't be able to be allowed to monetize in France, or maybe you won't be allowed to use a particular data source in France, you know, and you have a week to respond sort of approach. And let me just finish on that note. Uh, to expand on the Upton Sinclair theory of the case here, uh, essentially, uh, users and their information are Twitter's product, product. They are the means to monetize the eyeballs on the site to collect, use, and monetize that information is the Twitter business. And so their reckless disregard for their users' health and safety and for the national security is a product of that incentive. Would you agree? Yes, sir. Uh, and that's why I understand the M and MDAO to be monetizable daily average users. Thanks, Thank Mr. you, Senator Chairman. Blumenthal. Senator Blackburn. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you for joining us today. Um, I'm a mother and a grandmother, and I want to talk with you about this process Twitter has gone through. They tried to start a new subscription-based adult entertainment.